hello guys i cannot believe that christmas is less than one month away so let's talk productive that girl gift ideas and spike will be joining me in this video today stationery and desk items the five minute journal it comes in such a cute pink color a sherpa laptop case a cute backpack there's a pink one for the north face you can get them on amazon herschel a bullet journal i get asked all the time where my bullet journal is from and mine is from yop and tom planner for 2024 i really like the kate spade planner blue light glasses muji pens they're my ultimate favorite pens the 0.5 millimeter ones wash tape to decorate your bullet journal bubble candles those cute aesthetic pen boxes acrylic pen organizers as well a laptop stand self-help books such as atomic habits and 101 essays that will change the way you think any book on your tbr for example some popular ones are the inheritance games series an audible subscription an led clock led desk lights and a cloud hand rest now let's move on to clothing and bags. For tote bags, the Marc Jacobs tote bag, any of the tote bags from my mom made it, a puffer tote bag, the Bay's Weekender bag. I've heard so much about this one and how it can fit so much stuff inside of it. A, Lulu, a Lululemon belt bag. I know that Aritzia just came out with their puffer belt bag. Any luggage or suitcase. Cute PJ sets. This one is from Amazon. You can get really cute sets as well from Brandy Melville and skims uggs such as the ugg diskette the ugg tasman platform and the ugg minis platform ugg socks those are so cute and comfy a puffer jacket such as the north face one or the ones from aritzia i personally have the aritzia shorty puffer jacket a bathrobe one of them is from la vie en rose and then the other one is from winners you can also get really cute ones i heard from jajurf avenue i don't know how to say it <laughs> loungewear i'm like a girl that does not like wearing uncomfortable things so loungewear is a must lounge underwear aritzia has so many cute lounge sets indoor slippers so i was watching the video from adalala and she mentioned these cute bunny slippers the lululemon define jacket some jewelry i know that gold hoops are super in right now mine are personally from hey harper and have a discount code dear rebecca you can get them from tiffany Tiffany's also has that really cute and trendy necklace. Scout sets from Lululemon, Set Active, Gymshark, Frankie's Bikinis, Aloe Yoga, and obviously like Nike and Adidas. Running or workout shoes. I've heard that Hoka has really great running shoes. That's the one that Emma Chamberlain wears, I believe. Mine are personally from Sasani because I needed some like extra support for my knees. <laughs> the Nike Pegasus is also a great running shoe. Now, in relation to that, let's talk workout stuff. So, a reusable water bottle from Hydroflax, Stanley, Yeti. Personally, mine is just from Costco and it works great. A gym membership or a workout membership, for example, to a workout class like Orange Theory. I've been to Orange Theory and it's so good. Or, for example, a workout app or program. A walking treadmill. I just got a walking treadmill for those who work from home or like stay at home a lot. I feel like this is a game changer, but I I've yet to try it. I'm super excited to. Armbands and ankle weights or just like weights in general. Workout bands like resistant bands. A yoga mat from Lululemon or Alo Yoga. A meditation app subscription like Calm. Moving on to skincare and makeup. A skincare fridge. I've heard so many benefits of putting your stuff in the fridge so that they're nice and cold when you put it on your face. Hair headbands, wristbands. A lot of people comment why I use wristbands and they're to they're there to catch the water that drips down the wrist and seriously, dry elbows is one of like the little things in life. <laughs> The Glow Recipe Toner, Glow Recipe Niacinamide, and the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Mist. I personally got those Glow Recipe like gift sets that is from Sephora. Anything from Drunk Elephants, I only have one thing from there and it's their B Goldie Drops. I've also heard that the Drunk Elephants Baby Facial something face mask is also really, really good. La Neige Lip Masks, the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream, La Roche Posay's Sunscreen and Cleanser 
I use both of those every single day. Like they are so good. The Super Glue Glow Screen, which is like a sunscreen, but it gives your face and your body like this glowy, shimmery type of look. A gua sha to have like a defined jawline. An ice roller. The Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid Drop. Any type of vitamin C serum. I use vitamin C serum every single morning. Mine is personally from the brand Verse, but I've ordered them from a random brand from Amazon as well. Aquaphors. Aquaphors, I know that you can get them in lip balm. You can get them just as the cream and as well as in like the spray format. Aquaphor is so good for keeping your skin not dry, especially throughout the winter time. Paula's Choice 2% BHA Exfoliant. They're really good for people who have those like mini bumps on your face. Tree Hut Body Scrub. I'm Canadian, so they actually don't sell them here, but I've heard so many good things about them and maybe whenever I go to the States, I can try them one day. Pimple patches, face masks, either like the sheet masks or the ones that you paint on your face. Eye masks, like the ones that go under here that you see everybody wear. The Dior Lip Oil, the Rare Beauty Lip Glow, the Rare Beauty Blush, NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I've used this one for literally years. It's my favorite concealer. On top of the Merit Concealer and Foundation Stick, the formula is so good and so soft on your face. The Jisoo Lip Oil, honestly, I have this and I feel like it's a little bit overrated. <laughs> a red light therapy mask and a humidifier. A humidifier is so good for people who live in dry places and their faces get really dry throughout the winter. Now let's talk hair care, body care, and teeth care. So firstly, a microfiber towel to wrap your hair in. A heatless hair set, that's how I curled my hair today. They actually work really, really well. Silk pillowcases, this is not only good for your hair, but it's also really good for your face because it's so smooth. In addition to that, silk scrunchies, those like elastic bands that people normally use really break your hair. I like using silk scrunchies or just scrunchies in general to loosely kind of put my hair up. Crest white strips, the Jisoo hair oil. I haven't tried this, but I've heard really good things about it. I have the Kerastase, Kerastase, I don't know, Kerastase hair oil, wet shampoo and conditioner, I don't know how to say it. Um, the Olaplex shampoo and con conditioner number four and five. I personally got this in like one of those gift sets that included a number three, like Olaplex number three hair mask as well. And I believe that it's good for for people who have like bleached hair or more so like damaged hair to strengthen the bonds. The Coco and Eve hair mask, a Dyson hair wrap. I know this is so expensive. I personally don't have one, but I've used my sister's before. The Dyson has like this new thing called an air straight for people who like to straighten their hair as well. Or the dupe for that is the Shark Flex Style, which is a lot cheaper, but I've heard it literally does the same thing. An electric toothbrush. Electric toothbrushes are just way better at removing the plaque from the gum lines, I've heard. A tongue scraper. Charcoal toothpaste or a nano hydroxy appetite toothpaste, which is really good for people who have sensitive teeth. A wet brush for your hair or a bamboo hairbrush, as well as cute hair claw clips because as I said, like elastics can break the hair. So like using claw clips are just a little bit better. A shower caddies, like the ones that people stick on the walls or within their showers to put all of your stuff in. Makeup and skincare organizers. Mine is from Amazon. Moving on to home and kitchen. So I get asked all the time where my tissue dispenser is from. It's from Timu, but there's also a cute one from Shein. Cute mugs and with that, a mug tree. An espresso or Keurig. I personally have a Keurig. An air fryer. I use my air fryer all the time, so it is so convenient. A whiteboard, a huge blanket like this, cute aesthetic bed sheets or silk bed sheets, a pillow spray laundry baskets, the cloud couch. So I get asked where I get my couch literally on every single one of my videos that I post. I got mine from the website Retro Modern Home, a good blender. So something like the Vitamix. Blenders are so good for like, if you don't like eating vegetables, just shove in a bunch of vegetables with some bananas and some fruit in a smoothie. Drink that all and it's such an easy way to get in your vegetable servings for the day. 
pots and pans i've heard from our place is really cute dish sets a spice rack milk jugs like the ones in those glass containers fridge organizers oh my gosh i see people who have like such nicely organized fridges all the time it's, it's literally cool ice cube trays so that's how i make like my ice cubes i also like making coffee ice cubes to not water down my coffee too much aesthetic glasses i get asked where my glass is from all the time and it is once again from amazon reusable glass straws now let's move on to electronics slash vlogging things i know that a lot of you guys might want to start vlogging soon so i'm going to tell you some of the equipment that i use my camera is a canon m50 camera with an 11 to 12 millimeter wide angle lens a camera stand or a phone stand for people who want to do reels or do short form like vertical content the apple airpods max but some alternatives to that is the sony ones a cute iphone case you want to start vlogging too you're going to also need an sd card an external hard drive mine is from samsung you're going to need a microphone so microphones from rode are really really good and the one that i'm using right now is called the rode nt usb a kindle for people who enjoy reading <music> Lastly, this category is like other. The first one is one of those wake up lamps for people who wake up before the sun even rises. Next thing you can get is Spike. If you search up Coralacuma, I don't, <laughs> I don't know how to say it. This thing online, you're gonna find lots of options to buy Spike. I really wanna get one of those cute bunnies that I see everywhere online. You can get a Notion membership for people who enjoy putting their stuff all on Notion, a custom hoodie slash gift. I got one for my boyfriend from Kittle and it is so cute. I got it the other day. Aesthetic prints for picture frames. I just wanna say guys, you do not have to buy any of these things to become that girl or be somebody productive. These are all just for fun, things that can help you in your journey or things that are just like enjoyable. But of course you don't need any of those things to become a healthy productive person who is living their best lives but anyways thank you guys so much for watching i will catch you guys next time bye